Hello everyone. How are you all doing? Today we have a wonderful story. Kakasaurus. That is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Shalini Srinivasan. And the illustrator is Prabha Malya. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. So this is Kaka. Kaka means crow. So let's see what Kakasaurus is. Raji was sitting peacefully under a tree, reading a book and eating a pudgy, when a crow walked up to her. Hi, Kaka, Raji said. So this is Raji. She's sitting under a tree reading some book and she's having a budgy that she wants to enjoy. A kaka or a crow just walks up to her, walks close to her and she says hi to the kaka. Raji opened her mouth to take a bite of budgie. The crow flew up, grabbed the budgie and flew away. Raji was so nice. She was greeting the kaka, but let's see what the kaka did or the crow did. What did the crow do? When she was about to take a bite of the budgie, the crow flew up, grabbed, snatched the budgie from Raji and it flew away. It went away. Raji jumped up, leapt over the compound wall and started running down the road. Give that back, you useless, foot-stealing, peanut brain crow, Raji shouted. Raji, she didn't want to leave as well. What, what happened? Raji became very angry. She jumped up, leapt over, leapt over meaning jumping over the compound wall. And she started running behind the, the crow on the road. And she started shouting at the crow. You are a have a brain that is like a peanut size. It's so small, it seems. You're stealing food from me. She's so angry. She started shouting. Look, she's going behind the crow. But what's happening? Something seems to be happening to the crow though. Seems to be getting bigger. Let's see what happens. The crow was flying slowly. Its body was getting bigger and heavier. Worse, its wings were getting smaller. I'll get you soon, Raji said. So something was happening to the crow. It was getting slower. What was happening? The body of the crow was getting bigger and bigger. And so it was becoming heavier. And the worst part is it's not just getting bigger and heavier. The wings were getting smaller. So it's not able to fly. And Raji is happy. I'll get to you soon now, she says. Salim came cycling down the road. The tired crow dropped from the sky and fell on Salim and his cycle. Crash! Raji ran up to them. That time Salim was cycling on the road. And the crow was getting bigger, heavier and its wings were getting shorter. So the crow just plopped down on Salim and his cycle. Both the cycle and Salim fell down. Raji was running up towards them. Salim was lying on the ground with his cycle. There was a weird creature on his head flapping wildly. It was large and strong and it had teeth. It bit Salim hard. Chomp! Ah! screamed Salim. Your crow is eating me. So Salim was lying on the ground because he fell down, right? There is this weird creature. Weird meaning it's very unusual. You don't get to see something like this. It's not something that you see. It's a weird creature. Flapping wildly. It's flapping its wings wildly. And it is very large and strong. And it had nice strong teeth as well. With that teeth, it bit 
Salim very hard and it is so painful. He starts screaming and says to Raji, your, your crow is eating me. That is not my crow, Raji said. Actually, it's not a crow at all. They looked at the not crow. You are right. That's a dinosaur, yelled Salim. So Raji was very all defensive. She said, no, no, that's not my crow. Actually, it's not even a crow. Look at it. They both look at the not crow. It's not a crow anymore, right? Then Salim says, yeah, you're correct. It is a dinosaur. So what is a dinosaur? Have you guys seen a dinosaur before? Dinosaurs are these large animals, really big, large animals that lived long time ago. They don't live anymore. They are called extinct animals. They don't live anymore. They are not in existence now. They live long time back. So those are dinosaurs. So look at it. Now it looks like a really large creature, right? Scary. The crow dinosaur flapped and ran towards the bazaar. What if it bites more people? Asked Raji. We should stop it, Salim replied. The crow, which has now turned into a dinosaur, it was flapping. It is moving its wings up and down. And it is moving towards the marketplace or bazaar. And now these two are worried. Raji says, what if it is going to bite other people in the bazaar? We'll have to do something. Then Salim says, let's go and stop it somehow. The crow dinosaur stomped through the bazaar, yelling, crow! Crow! and knocking everyone over. So crow dinosaur was now stomping, making heavy footsteps. Dung, 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 dung. It's making noise and going through the marketplace. And it's now yelling, ka, ka, and knocking everyone down. It is pushing down people and their carts in the marketplace. See, a cart of bananas and the banana vendor both, they have all fallen. People are looking worried and scared. Only Professor Auntie watched it with wonder. Is that? Am I losing my mind? Could it be a real life theropod? So there is this Professor Auntie who is not scared. She is all awestruck. She is thinking it's such a wonderful sight. She is thinking, am I losing my mind? Am I going crazy? Is it a live theropod? Theropods are these family of dinosaurs from which birds evolved or birds came gradually changing from these dinosaurs called theropods. So look, this is Professor Auntie and she is looking at the dinosaur. She is all surprised. Raji and Salim helped Professor Auntie up. Professor Auntie, have you seen? asked Raji and Salim. She said, a bird dinosaur? Yes, I have. Where did you get that creature? She said. They are supposed to be extinct. I have been studying them all my life and I have only seen old bones. So Professor Auntie had also fallen down because of all the stomping by the dinosaur. So Raji and Salim helped her up. And then when they asked, did you see? And she says, yeah, 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 the bird dinosaur, yeah. Where did you get that creature? Where did you get that animal from? They're supposed to be extinct. Extinct, I told you, right? They are, they don't live anymore. They lived in the past. And she says, I have only seen bones of these dinosaurs before. The ex-crow headed out of the bazaar. Raji and Salim and Professor Auntie followed. Raji ran extra fast and threw herself at it. Ex-crow, meaning it is not a crow anymore. 
x if you add the word x it was it is in the past it was a crow before so the x crow was headed out of the bazaar it is going out of the market raji salim and professor aunty are following the dinosaur raji is going faster now she jumped on top of the dinosaur look she just jumps on top of the dinosaur got you raji held the crow dinosaur close salim sat down and said it's turning into a t-rex they are the same hama family panted professor aunty birds and dinosaurs i mean it's evolving backwards raji caught hold of the dinosaur now salim sits next to the dinosaur and says now it is turning into a t-rex t-rex is a a type of dinosaur it's called tyrannosaurus rex in short called as t-rex so it's one of the largest dinosaurs so it he says it's getting bigger and bigger now this dinosaur is getting bigger and bigger and i think it's going to be like a t-rex and then professor aunty panting she is also coming fast right when you run fast what happens you breathe like this so that's called panting she says birds and dinosaurs are of the same family but now what is happening from dinosaur it became became birds right now it is evolving backwards from bird it is now going back to a dinosaur a lizard ran by and the dinosaur snapped at it yuck gross cannibal shouted raji it's like if i ate my cousins said salim no it isn't professor aunty said birds are descended from dinosaurs so they are fairly close to crocodiles but lizards are an entirely different kind of reptile just then when it was lying down there is a lizard that was passing by and the dinosaur wanted to probably eat the lizard so tries to grab it and the lizard's tail just breaks and the lizard just moves away raji is very upset she says oh gross so yucky it is so disgusting she says this is like a cannibal what's a cannibal cannibals are if an animal eats its own kind then it's called a cannibal humans also if they eat another human they will be called a cannibal they are saying a reptile eating another reptile they find it like it is a cannibal so salim also says it's like i'm if i eat my own cousins how will it be oh my god he says then professor aunty says no birds are evolved from dinosaurs so they are very very close to crocodiles while lizards evolved in a different way so the this is not like a cannibal now the crow dinosaur curled up on the ground and made an unhappy noise i think it's sad it can no longer fly said salim raji patted its snout kindly now the dinosaur is curled up into like a ball and it is unhappy it is making such unhappy noise and salim feels that it is probably unhappy because it can no longer fly raji starts patting patting is gently touching the snout the front part the nose and mouth even in dogs you can see right it comes like this forward that's called a snout this dinosaur also has a snout if you look here this is the snout he was patting the snout gently they went to professor aunty's house on the table was a plate of bajjis mm raji said Coo! said the dinosaur it stretched as tall as professor aunty snatched the entire plate crunched the bajjis and the steam so they all head towards go towards 
Professor Auntie's house. At Auntie's house, there is a plate full of budgies. Raji is all excited looking at the budgie. You remember, right? That's how the story started. She wanted to enjoy her budgies, right? That's how the story started. So she's all excited looking at the budgies. And the dinosaur also got all excited. And he grabbed the plate, put all the budgies into his mouth. Then it made a loud burp and stuck all its teeth out in a huge happy grin. <gasps> Raji and Salim exchanged a grin and said together, Carcassaurus Rex. The dinosaur was so happy, ate the entire plate of budgies. And it started burping. Burping is the noise that you make when, you're, when your tummy is full, right? Belch from your stomach, that sound that comes through your mouth, that's called burp. So it is making that noise. And it is very happy. It is grinning and making a nice big car. And Raji and Salim together name it as Kakasaurus Rex. Look, all the three are grinning. They are very happy. Birds are descended from a family of dinosaurs called theropods. They are often called living dinosaurs. Apart from a few differences, birds and dinosaurs are really very similar. Birds, shorter tail bones, long smooth feathers for flying, scales on feet and sometimes necks, beaks, no teeth, large wings, light hollow bones, dinosaurs, long tails, scales, and short fuzzy feathers, snouts, lots of teeth, small wings, incapable of flight, heavier bones. So like we uh, talked about earlier, theropods are these type of dinosaurs from which the birds were evolved. So that's why the birds are sometimes called as living dinosaurs. They have so much in common. There are only very few differences between birds and dinosaurs. So if you look, birds have shorter tail bones. If you look here, look at the kaka or the crow. It has a short tail bone. Here is the feather. The tail bone ends here. Whereas if when you look at the dinosaur, you can see that the tail bone is large because there is a large tail. And Birds have long, smooth feathers so that they can fly. And they have scales on the feet. Whereas with dinosaurs, they have scales throughout their body mostly. And they have short, fuzzy, fuzzy meaning soft, short, soft feathers they have. Birds have beaks. You have seen, right? Birds have beaks and they don't have any teeth. Whereas dinosaurs have lots of teeth. Birds have large wings so that they can fly nicely. Dinosaurs have small wings. That's why they won't be able to fly. They are large and heavy and their wings are very short. Because of that, they won't be able to fly. At least most of the dinosaurs don't fly. Their body is made up of light hollow bones so that the entire body is light so they can fly again very easily. Whereas these big dinosaurs have heavy bones. These are some of the bones of dinosaurs. He's saying make a birdosaur with these bones. Did you enjoy today's story? It was such a wonderful story, right? Today's story had a lot of difficult words. Let's look at those words and what those words mean. Grabbed. It means snatched suddenly and roughly. Leapt. To make a large jump. Weird. Weird means very strange and unusual. Stomped. Stomped means walk with heavy steps. Headed out. Means to leave. Prof. 
it is a short form of professor meaning a teacher in a college or a university knocking means bump into and giving them a hard blow dinosaur dinosaurs are a type of reptiles that are usually very large but they are extinct and not to be seen live anymore on earth extinct extinct means no longer existing now snapped means to break suddenly and quickly panted breathe with quick short breaths like when you have run very quickly you breathe like this right <sighs> that's called panting cannibal means a human or an animal eating its own kind descended means to have developed from something that existed in the past or evolved snout the nose and mouth of an animal that sticks out from its face pat it touch gently with the hands burp a noise made from the stomach through the mouth or it's also called belch try these questions what is a crow called in your mother tongue give a name other than kakasaurus to the crow dinosaur second question is what does evolve mean from what animal did we humans evolve from final question is imagine an elephant evolving like the crow in the story we saw that the crow changed from a crow to a dinosaur right like that think that an elephant is also changing if the elephant is changing how do you think it will change and give a name to it i hope you like today's story until next time bye